cooking. Yeah, adult cooking. Huh? Right, so adult cooking is another module. So as we go through, think about progression, huh? when, what to teach at set one, what to teach at set two, what to teach at set three, set four, don't need. Huh? Okay? Yeah. So again, uh, the fundamentals. So when you cook, right, when you cook, huh, it's a different sort of uh, consideration. Really, huh? So when you cook, the first one is you need to think of your uh, the main one, the sources of heat. Because when you're cooking, you must have heat, right? So the sources of heat. Sources A, yeah. Sources of heat. There are a few. Yeah. The most common one we use is uh, solid fuel. The solid fuel here, uh, white waxy base that they also have uh, hexamine. The technical name is hexamine. It's water resistance. If you manage to burn solid fuel and you put it inside water, it will continue burning yeah? and you lift it up. Okay, that's how durable it is. It's very easy to light, but it smells bad. Lah. Okay, and, then, uh, and then it's simple to start. And then you want extra heat, just put more solid fuel. Lah. That's what you do. Okay, can? Solid fuel. Lah. So this is one solid fuel. Okay. Another base of solid fuel is actually charcoal. Huh? Oh, good, uh. So charcoal is very messy, it's very chunky. Or it's very powdery and small bit, so you don't get a consistent size. But I can solve the problem. I'll show you a special type of charcoal, which I am trying out huh, to teach. They don't come in standard sizes, uh, but charcoal requires skill to start. I don't know, barbecue, right? There'll be a few people who can start the fire, and the rest will be lost. Lah. Yeah, so hopefully, if you make uh, every girl in RGS can uh, start a fire using charcoal. Okay, nah? okay. But once it started, the, the heat is very long and constant even heat. Uh, it's quite dirty and there's cleaning issue. Same with the hexamine solid fuel. There's a blackish issue to clean. Okay. Right. Uh, and now I'm trying to move into this uh, liquid-based fuel, alcohol. It's more cleaner, more efficient. Uh, later I introduce you the trenches. So alcohol or maturated spirit, denatured alcohol, very easy to use. However, the flame is almost invisible. You can't see the flame. Huh? But it's easy to light and the shutdown can relight very easy. Uh, a simple stove, there's no pump, there's no switch, nothing, you just light it up. Uh, it's cheap, eh? so 10, 5 liters of ethanol or alcohol costs like $6. That will last the whole of sec 1, or the whole of sec 2, eh? can last. Eh? The flame is constant, but the flame is very hard to control. It's, it's always on all the time. Right, so it's on here. And last is, uh, uh, second last is uh, uh, another liquid-based fuel called white gas or thinner. It's a naphtha or thinner white gas. Very high energy output, very efficient, but the stove is very complicating. Eh? So this is the MSR stove where you have to pump, you know, and like... I think I, I brought camping last time right, with the uh, gang. Eh? Yeah. The fuel very flammable, very expensive. Uh, this one is very explosive. Uh, if you just light it, it might just explode. It's more explosive than petrol. Yeah. There are some stove there that use petrol, but petrol is not good to cook with, uh, because the fumes. Okay. And the last one is one of my favorite one. It's actually the wood. Uh, you, again, you need skill in lighting. Uh, nice flame, it's a nice smell. So the charcoal is a very nice smell. Uh, it has nice smell. But the fuel can be difficult to collect and find, so it's a very problem. Uh. Yeah, so I'm, I promise you. So we, we have not done this in Bedok South yet. Uh, we will try to do this uh, next time. So, okay. okay, so after you heat, then you find out how you cook. So, the, in B will be the cooking method. Okay, All right. So, before we go there, heat. Hierarchy, which is the simplest one? Easiest one to teach? Solid fuel? Alcohol, you try alcohol, eh? alcohol, alcohol, this goes here. Yeah? Okay, any of you here experience uh, solid fuel? I'll, I'll give solid fuel for uh. Alcohol? No, okay, we will try, we will try alcohol. Eh? Okay, alcohol, so, yeah. so, so, so it's up to you. Eh? Uh, both, I would say, uh, uh, quite evenly matched. Eh? So there's no easy or difficult. Both has its uh, challenges. Okay. Yeah, this is the same padlet. Uh, it's the same, but I can't print out the. No, this is a new one. Uh, I don't know why I cannot, cannot get the thing. <laughs> huh? I 
I think my iPad lah, something wrong. Okay, man, I'll try to share with Alina. Okay, can. Right, can yeah. Okay, so uh, yeah, so yeah, so uh, this is the fuel that we use. Huh? So today we're going to go through uh, solid fuel, charcoal, as well as uh, alcohol. Okay, but priority given to alcohol and solid fuel. Maybe you've done it before, so I don't want to go to other stuff. Okay. So ways of cooking. Huh? Uh, the most simplest one we always use is boiling. So it's about 100 degrees, okay, boiling. Uh, so the most basic way of cooking, very simple, relatively safe, kills bacteria and virus. Actually, you boil over 20 minutes. Huh? Yeah. So uh, you cook rice, pasta, soups, and hot drinks. These are the, so you can make menus based on that. Lah. Okay, can? Right. The next one is frying. Any of you here tried frying before? As, yes. Oh yeah, you must try. Lah. Okay. You put some oil and you fry. Adds flavor to the food. There's caramelization, we have some flavor. However, you need to control the heat well. Okay, and you need some specialized equipment. Okay, can? So, a frying pan. Lah. IKEA sells the frying pan very cheap. $9, just buy 10 lah. Okay, and you can use it on the stove. Uh, baking. Ah, this is something. So, we do baking. We do baking, right? The, the pizza bomb, right? Ah, we have a pizza bomb, right? Baking. So, it's an oilless way of cooking. Use flour mainly. Can be done on an oven or on a pan. So, this one, right? Nice smell. Uh, skill needed. Okay, this one is dough, ah. Huh? People always think we dip it, must use yeast you know, there. Okay. okay, no cinnamon roll, nothing. Uh. Today, just simple bread. Uh. <laughs> okay, then grilling. Grilling, huh? grilling. Yes. Uh, grilling. Okay, grilling. Grilling means you direct onto the open flame. The food hit the open flame. Uh, common one is a marshmallow. Okay. Uh, but you can actually have a bread on a stick. So you put the dough on a stick. Uh, okay, That's another way of it. So, uh, however, grilling requires some... Uh, uh, special cookware, for example, skewers, la, cast iron, skillet, la, those sort of things. Okay. Okay. No. So, so for you, when you use a grilling, it's normally over charcoal, wood, alcohol, maybe, la, but not so good. Right? Okay. So, these are the four ways of cooking. Huh? So, we will, so uh, you'll be given menus. So, uh, and, uh, so, you might be given a Tommy cooker, then cook nasi lemak. Then you have a charcoal stove on Tommy cooker with uh, chicken rice. And another person given tranger stove cook pasta. And then tranger stove uh, bake a bread. Oh, that is how we will try there. Okay. Okay. So we learn through a Tommy cooker. We learn about tranger stove. Uh, there are four recipes. Four. Huh? Okay, so we have nasi lemak. So using mastin and Tommy cooker. So you, later I just wash one rice or cup, add to the mastin, add coconut milk, dilute, make two cup of water and all those things. So I'll explain over there and then you cook, okay? And at 12 o'clock we have lunch, okay? Then we see how lah, okay? I've heard the nasi lemak is only the nasi lemak. There's no sambal and there's no ikan bilis or anything like that. So it's just the rice, okay? okay. So this is how I cook rice. Anybody know how to cook rice? Have you cooked rice using mastin? Rice, eh? Uh, but normally mastin would be uh, maggi, eh? Uh, Maggi, right? Noodles, uh, that's a basic. Okay, uh, I brought that, uh, but I think we challenge ourselves uh, a bit higher. Uh. So, cooking rice is a skill. Uh, there's two ways. The first way, this way, is the accurate measurement. Uh, one rice, one cup rice to one plus one cup of water. Okay. The other way is the matchstick style, the finger. Uh, finger one, uh. Yes, I got. So, uh, two. So, let's say chicken rice. So, okay. so, this one using Tommy cooker with uh, solid fuel. Tommy cooker with uh, charcoal. Then pancakes. Okay, pancakes. So we introduce, uh, here we have rice. Okay. Here pancake, we have flour. And we use self-raising flour. Self-raising flour, the, it will rise automatically. Like, you need to have yeast and all that. So the moment you heat, it will just rise. So it's very easy. So uh, to make bread, right? this, is a, this is the easier one. Right? So the difference between bread and pancake is that here we add egg or we add milk. Unfortunately, I didn't bring egg today. So, I don't know. So, we just try lah. Pancake. Nah, okay. We bring, bring a few lah. Bring food down. Okay. We make pancake. Then, you make the pancake lah. Okay, pancake. You can. Right. Okay. So, you raise the flour, add water, and then you put the egg and maybe um, some milk. No need milk, so okay. And then, you just make the pancake lah. And you add some flavors like banana if you have any lah. There's anything here. You can try uh, then make bread. Uh, here specifically pizza bread. So there's some uh, sauce that you add and all that. Okay. 
option will be pasta. If you want to cook pasta, uh, can 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 change from chicken rice for pasta or something like that. Okay, can. So when you go out there, I will introduce you the two stove, Tommy cooker and the Trenger, but specifically the Trenger and how I teach uh, the lesson. Okay. Any question? You can ah. Uh? All right. Okay. I know everything lah, yeah, but uh, you want to take pictures, you can lah. But uh, uh, it's quite okay lah. I'm the top teacher that will uh, just do ah. Uh. There's no one pinch, what half spoon, tara. It's just okay ah. Uh, here there, okay, cook, uh. it's outdoor cooking. But you can take a picture and uh, put it in. Uh, what I do is I bring this iPad out and then you can refer to it. Okay, are we ready to go out? Okay, let's go.